Hi, I'm Ian and welcome back to Astro Time Traveller. I know that the new ASI Air Plus is coming onto the market and a lot of people are very interested to use this with its new improved Wi-Fi. I've actually been using the ASI Air Pro since I started doing deep sky astrophotography just over a year ago and I haven't had a problem with the Wi-Fi because I locate my telescope and mount very close to my house. One of the things I know a lot of people ask is how do you monitor the progress of your imaging through the evening and overnight with the ASI Air Pro? So in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the processes and the steps I take to make sure I monitor the image taking from the ASI Air Pro throughout the evening and even throughout the night. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do that. Ian, what are you doing? I'm monitoring my ASI Air Pro. Ian, what are you doing now? I'm monitoring my ASI Air Pro. Ian, what are you doing now? I'm monitoring my ASI Air Pro. So this is what I actually do on the evening. So I will have uh, polar aligned and then I've gone back to the home position and then I've gone to a particular star. So here's Vega, put on the, my Batonov mask and then make sure I'm in focus. And then once I've done that, I'll take the mask off and then I'll go to select my target. So there's the star. Now I'll go and select a target. So let's say uh, M101. Um, it's not on my list here, so we'll just need to type it in. So we'll type in M101, the uh, pinwheel galaxy, and then that'll come up and then I can just select that. So I click on there and then obviously it will then start to slew to that target. So we can uh, jump ahead to when it actually has finalized um, positioning. And once it confirms it's in position, which is done here, you then have uh, it taken a, an image of that if you're under the uh, preview. I'm just saving that image so I can check it uh, later. And then I'm really ready to image. I can go into my auto run, set up my sequence. Uh, so it's going to be light frame at 300 seconds. This is just an example. So I'll just do uh, one uh, frame. So we'll just uh, put one frame in there and then I can go back. Uh, I'm almost ready now. My camera's already at minus 10. I just need to start guiding. So go into the guide suite, click on that, and then that will start to uh, action multi-star guiding and that does that fairly quickly and then once the graph comes up and I can see I'm getting uh, a reasonably good uh, accuracy of uh, tracking I can then go back to the main screen and we can start to image uh, so it's all go so now we just click on the button and we're ready to start imaging and away we go and now we can leave that for the rest of the evening I don't need to do anything which is the great thing about the ASI Air Pro is you can leave it to run overnight um, the only thing I really do is in the morning. So what I tend to do is set it all to run so it will finish uh, just before it starts to get um, light in the morning. And I will make sure it positions itself at uh, the home position. And then when I come down in the morning, I look out and there it is. It's all done. And the only thing I do do is I go in to look at all the images before I switch off the ASI Air Pro and just have a, a quick look at those images. And what I often do is I will actually video as I look at them. I'll do a screen uh, filming so then I can go back at a later stage and look at those 
to make sure they're they're accurate and they're what I want them to be, and to see if there's any uh, satellite trails going through them or anything. So that's pretty much it, and you can quickly scan through uh, all of those images. This was one I did of the uh, Andromeda Galaxy, uh, when I did two together in two different panes, and I stitched them together into a single image. But it just shows you how easy it is to do. And I literally don't need to do anything monitoring the ASI Air Pro overnight. It will do a Meridian flip, it will move to a second target if I've got two targets set. And I just come down in the morning and, and everything's pretty much done. Um, so it's an extremely easy process to run through. And as you can see from this video, I can do other things while it's uh, running away and doing the imaging, which makes my life a lot easier.